All right, guys, welcome back to the vlog. Mickey and Ricky, or Ricky and Mickey, however you want to call it, we are both here. And this is part two of my wife's surprise, surprise party. Not surprise party yet, but we are going surprise to car surprise party. car party. So, recap. Recap. <laughs> it's so nice having that around. Right? It's nice. We do. They keep they keep showing up. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, yesterday we we took the car from my house. We took it to DNA Garage. We took the car in and we removed the intercooler piping on the stuff because the whole purpose for the car was to get there to get the V mount done. And we ended up doing a compression test. The compression test ended up passing. It smoked a lot, but that's because uh, you know all the mixtures and stuff. But it started, baby! Yes, it did. <laughs> and they were really good, actually. Um, so we decided to remove the engine and we're gonna do a, um, well, DNA garage. We, they're gonna help us do the uh, seal, a seal kit, which in our case, because we don't need to open or close the engine, we're only gonna do the oil pan gasket, the front main seal, and the rear main seal. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at this guy. You gotta rice it out, bro. <laughs> GT way on it? She doesn't like spoilers. What? All right. no. I've I bought her two spoilers, and both of them I had to sell them because she didn't like them. Damn, but this is a hot boy R for me a GT wing. Yeah, that's that is pretty sick, but Damn, no. Damn, it's wide. No, she's not a spoiler type. Put a like ten inch riser on it, so it's above the roof. No, 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 no. Surfboard. You know what she does like? Just the lip, the tiny lip, the duck bills. Oh, that's yeah. what she. That's what she likes. I know. We're old. We just like the simple stuff. Yes, sir. Um, where was I? Uh, I'm gonna go downstairs and grab these uh, other parts, okay? All right. <laughs> I was like downstairs, but all right. Anyways, so that's what we're doing to the motor. Oh, yeah, the seals. Uh, we're doing all three seals, um, and then they're gonna pressure wash the engine, and then we brought the car to the hunt quarters so we can... Prep the engine bay for paint! Yeah, we're gonna prep the engine bay for paint. I still gotta figure out and get away uh, for me, for her to tell me what color she wants the engine bay done. You gotta want it. Come on, baby girl. Bro, it's open. Yes, it is. If it's not open, we gotta adjust that. <laughs> it looks, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, so the motor's out. She's out, but she's dirty. So if you guys can see, this car used to be red. Weird. And then it went to gunmetal gray, which I really like the color. I just wish they would've done. The whole thing? The whole thing. <laughs> Instead of going like this. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just maxed everything and paint everything over it. I mean, all this is painted, this is painted over it. I don't know, did you guys? Uh, I don't even know what happened here. Uh, they painted the brake lines for God's sake. Yeah, you're right. So today's video is sponsored by a company that I use at every fill up on my 911. The company is called Boostain, and they make a product, it's actually really, really awesome, and a great alternative to E85. Boostain is an octane booster or octane enhancer, but it's not like the stuff that you get at AutoZone or whatever. So when I got my car tuned, I really wanted to be able to run more boost on my street setup, and we only get crappy 91 octane here in California. The only alternative that I really had was either go E85 or figure out a way to boost my octane or spend a ton of money for 100 octane every time I wanted to drive the car. None of those were an option except for an octane booster. What I ended up doing was finding this company and this product that they make called Boostain Professional. It only took me like a quarter of a bottle to get my gas up around 95 octane. So these guys provided us with a promo code to save you some money when you order this stuff. So thanks a lot for Boostain for sponsoring this video. Guys, go check out their product and pick some up. All right, so right now we just pulled everything out that was in the car that I had just thrown in there from when I purchased the car. Mickey, right now we are going through all the boxes and parts for it. And we can recognize most of the stuff. Just because we've done so. Oh, the famous, the famous map We have uh, one headlights around. The other one, I think, is in the car, actually. Okay. Ooh. That's for the. Uh, yep. I don't put that in my car. Side pool. Inner door. I might yep. have another one of these. Yep. This is the door. Inner door triangles are good. And then this is the the wireness for the door, right? This is one door. One oh. door. No, two that's doors. two. Yep. 
Y band. We found the O2 sensor, but we didn't know where the Y band was. Now we have that. These are the door trims, window trims. Okay, it's enough to get started. And then we're gonna we're gonna go back and poach through all of my extra stuff that I have. I've been keeping bins because we knew this was in the wings. Um, so I've been keeping FD bins here at the shop of miscellaneous parts. Now we have a place to put it. This is why. All right, so so why is it in boxes, right? So this car, when I purchased it from the uh, this kid or this individual, he told me that the car was in at the body shop. So it was at the body shop, and he got a call last minute saying that he needed to get the car out because the body shop was about to go bankrupt or it was going to get repo or whatever. So he ran out there. The car wasn't on us. You guys can see the car. You can tell that somebody tried to cooler sand it, right? That's why it looks like that. This is not a my color. This is supposed to be glossy like the mirror. So they were trying to color sand it, and obviously they didn't. They didn't finish. So then the kid just ran out there. Whatever boxes was around the vehicle, he just threw it in there and told and told the car back home, back to his house. That being said, he missed a bunch of boxes, and he also missed a bunch of parts. Like the this car, they don't have. This door doesn't have any windows or any rails, any track mechanism, any motors in it, nothing. They're completely hollow inside. So all of that stuff needs to be sorted out. Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna try to put this car together, see what we're missing, make a list, and then start looking. And all the spare parts that we got here, try to finish the interior. We, oh, we got stuff there, we got vents over there, we got, we got stuff everywhere for FD. <laughs> <laughs> this is just one place. We've done a few, and then I got stuff in my house, and I know a few of my buddies got parts, which I'm gonna be asking for their help pretty soon for parts, whatever we cannot find. These wheels, these wheels came from my FD. These are the original wheels that I had on my FD when I purchased them. The same thing with the suspension, it's got 10 coilovers. Drilled brakes? Uh, yeah, that actually came with the car. So, so these know. are Volk raised Gram lights, yep. front and rear. Yes, sir. Square fitment? Square fitment, different size tires. I think we got 265s in the front and 225s in the No, opposite. 265s in the rear and 225s in the front. And. Tank coilovers, yeah? Yep, tank coilovers. And. Uh, How's the interior of this car, Ricky? It's. I mean, when I bought it, it had leather seats. Which is actually, those are the seats that are in TJ's car right now. Yeah. So TJ's FD actually has the seats that came with this car, but he's obviously reupholstered re them. Right. So this is the R1 car. And the R1s came with the suede seats, not with the leather ones. The Tourings came with the leather ones, and those are the ones that I, I wanted this car to be true to itself, so I took the leather ones on, I put the R1 seats So in these there. are the seats that I actually reupholstered for the Bad Apple. Was these are, R1. those were R1 seats. Yeah, yeah, r But yeah. they had seen better days. What year is this again? I forget. It's a 93. 93. Yep, it's a 93 R1. And for you, uh, for you FD nerds out there, the way you can tell is if the center panel plastics are smooth. smooth it's a that's a 93. Anything after a 93 has textured. Yeah. And the airbag. And and an airbag here on the dash. Yeah. So this is clearly a 93. Headline. No. No sunroof. No sunroof. This is the R1. It came with the suede seats, and it came with dual oil coolers. Also, because the uh, the Turing edition, like ours, it came with a single one. So oil cooler on left and right. Yep. So we also have AM smart coils for it. Nice. And we have another Tronic ECU, and we have a ditch works. 400 pump that we need to install. We also got to do relays on the starter and relays on the pump, which we're going to do that also. I don't even know what's in there. <laughs> we're going to find out. Yep. But so also, it would be a good opportunity for us to check the condition of the inside of the tank as well. we'll yep. Pull that out. Yep. I mean, they painted the inside too. And oh, I'm a, this is a, Oh, it had a this, cage. This thing had a cage before. Oh, interesting. So we might have to grind that out. Yep. To put the carpet back in. Oh yeah. yeah nice. Yeah. Metal work. I like it. The masking tape is still on from when they painted it to cover up the decal so it didn't get messed up. The decal that nobody can see. Good job, boys. They tried. That's good attention to detail right there. They tried, they tried. Since they painted the inside this color, are you thinking maybe leaving it this color? 
I, I really like this color and yeah, my wife nice. loves this color, so I don't think the outside color is, is an issue. But this hatch used to be black. Oh no, like I said, this thing was a frame. When, when the kid the kid was telling me it was just a frame, it had no hatch, no doors, no hood. It was just literally just an open frame. And the next couple of years it, just, it got it got to this shape and then that's when I ended up buying it. So something that which a lot of FD new owners they think this is a very cheap build and it's not an FD it's <laughs> we've been over this yeah it costs money <laughs> to build one of these things so if you don't so if you don't have the, the pockets for it or if you're if you're one of those guys that want to want to build done in less than a year this is not the car for you no um, it's this, these things take it takes time it takes time it takes, it a, lot takes a lot of resources uh, having friends in the community yeah. that can help source parts or have things laying around because I think once you enter the RX-7 community you find out really fast that the rest of the community are hoarders. Yep. And, and, that's, <laughs> for, wants to sell and that's for good reason because the parts are tough to come by and when you do come by them they're ultra expensive. I found that out the hard way. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. so we've got a lot of work cut out for us but you guys know Ricky and I got this. It ain't no thing. All right, guys, well, it's been a couple hours since we filled you in. Um, as you can see behind me, we've got parts galore scattered. Um, we've gone ahead and rebuilt the doors. So this door is actually complete with seals, moldings, um, door panel, most of the trims. Doors closed like a standard FD. We've got the bay pretty much stripped out. As you guys know, we just did this on the Bad Apple not too long ago with my dad, Big Jeff. So we're pretty versed on this. Last thing we're pulling out is this guy. And I think we'll get taped off for paint. And we'll start prepping for paint and tape off everything and get this base shot in its new color. Ricky's over here removing the brake booster and clutch. Right. A lot of progress today. Definitely moving right along on this thing. I'm excited. This, this reminds me of uh, this reminds me of the bad apple, just not too many months ago, and I have high hopes that this one's going to turn out uh, pretty special. So, Helen, I hope you love it. All right, guys. So, this is what we got so far done. We took pretty much everything out of the engine bay, and from here, um, we're just going to mask whatever's left over. This. These lines are gonna go away, so probably just gonna cut it and push it through. Um, so the plan for tomorrow is for us to come in, pressure wash this whole thing, and then prep the engine bay like we did with the bad apple. And then from there, we'll decide whether we spray it black or go with a different color or whatever the case may be. I'm not trying to turn this car into another bad apple build. My wife will kill me. This is only the, me, me and Mickey and, and, and the guys, uh, the DNA guys crew. The only thing we're doing, we're just going to be uh, getting it ready so she can actually drive it. All right. Um, after that, me and her will do, uh, we'll work on this car together because she loves twisting wrenches and she loves working on her own stuff. That's the next step. Clean the engine bay and get a prep for paint and then we'll see whether we take it to a paint shop, whether we do it ourselves and what color. The exterior, from what I've heard it talking, she wants it to stay the same. She likes the gray color. I might redo like the trunk area. Like it has that area that peeled out from sitting outside for so long. And I know the hood needs, uh, it's got a lot of, I don't know if you can see that, a lot of imperfections on it. <coughs> I don't think they did a very good job in the body, in the body, uh, body shop. They just pretty much just paint over whatever it had in and they never clean out those those imperfections, so all that needs to be taken care of, or I'll just buy a carbon fiber hood down the line. But when it comes to the hood, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I know the front bumper is a different gray from the body. I don't even know if I want to mess with that. That's something that I'll probably later, later, later mess with. Um, my main thing is make sure that oh, and the car came without windows, so we at least fix that. Uh, thanks to TJ, he, he gave us one of his spare windows that he has and the internals for it. So thank you TJ um, for the window. Uh, she's going to be happy and I just got to find the driver's side. 
and I believe the driver's side, I just found out that it's, I believe it's from a right hand drive. So it's a passenger door from a right hand drive FD. So nothing lines up. The handles doesn't line up. When you open those to line up, they, the internals are shorter. It's just, I need to get either a left hand drive driver's door or get the internals from a left hand drive driver's door. Uh, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much uh, for you guys still tuning in. Uh, and please let me know in the comments if you guys want me to go more in depth on what I'm doing or if this is good enough. Um, like I said, by the time this video comes out, it's the surprise is already been done. So hopefully the surprise goes good. Um, my wife deserves this and, and way more. So thank you so much guys. Subscribe, like, and comment. Um, and please tag me on it so I can respond to you guys. I, I like, I go through all the comments as much as I can. I like to respond to you guys. <laughs> if I don't respond to you guys on the YouTube uh, video, just hit me up on my Instagram. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys. Take care.